Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations. Today is Thursday, August the 8th, and everybody else just got on the Lakeview Park bus. I'm still waiting for the Oshawa Center bus. I can't remember whether or not I did a weekly spiel before my 60th birthday or not. If not, then here you go. Oh, noise, noise, noise! Oh, there goes another Whitby bus. It figures, mine is always a... Shut up! Noise, 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 noise. This neighborhood sucks. Anyway, where was I before my train of thought was rudely de derailed by all this noisy traffic? I had kind of a strange birthday. I think I'm, I've been sad that it's over because everything was actually on the birthday. There weren't any festivities leading in or out. The morning of my birthday, Jeanette came over and we, we met at the corner where just as she got off the bus, had nachos for lunch at Hardy John's over there. And I don't know if you can see it too good. There's the tattoo place where we went right afterwards. That was the highlight of my day. I was getting these matching ladybug tattoos. Right here, I'll show you. And then five o'clock that evening, the in-laws came to take me and Dave to the Mandarin, but I didn't really have much of an appetite. I felt kind of sick, to be honest. I, next time I have a feast at the Mandarin, I'm not going to eat anything else the rest of the day before that, because I was feeling sick towards the end of the meal and couldn't finish dessert. I just had to plonk down my bowl and run to the bathroom and hurl. Didn't quite... I had to dodge all these people in the way. The place was super crazy busy. Talk about major sensory overload. It's a wonder I didn't have a meltdown. Oh. And then I went into the cubicle and I sat down. Couldn't get turned around fast enough. Threw up on the floor in front of me. Tried to clean up as best as I could. I've been going through a bit of a depression for the rest rest of the week ever since then. Post-birthday blues. My mid midlife crisis was in my 30s. It seemed like everyone, everyone younger than me was getting married and having kids or moving away. And Jeanette and I pulled up stakes and moved. 30 years ago we moved, moved to Toronto on the 13th of August. And the rest is history. Or is it? I, I lived in Toronto till tw 2003, that's when Dave and I got married, and lived in Oshawa ever since then. Lived in this building for the last, it'll be three years in September. Anyway, what else is new? Jeanette and I are planning on going to Bowmanville today. We're going to this autism place. I hope they can meet our needs better than Carrie's place ever did. I really lost respect for that place when they they gave my husband the option of dropping me off at a group home. Like, screw that, I'm not a, what's the word I'm looking for? Piece of damaged merchandise? When I heard that, I, I really lost respect for them. Dave told me that would, during the housing search. I didn't know about it for years. Also, his aunt's been wanting to break us up. She's not gonna get her way, forget it. Uh, anyway, I am almost finished the Carousel of Smiles quilt. You will be seeing pictures of it on my Facebook page and in the new Margaret Franklin Creations. It's getting hard to concentrate. I wish the bus would hurry up and get here. That's obviously not the one that I want. Uh, oh, noise, 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 noise. It's driving me bonkers. Anyway, Bye-bye. Be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.